This is the new Tracker Trident AS. It's the updated version of the one-man armo. It's going to be the bivvy I'm using from now on. So to talk you through the features, first of all, it comes in a long, thin bag. And the reason for that will become apparent in a second. Inside that bag, you've got a ground sheet which goes out first. That comes in its own little bag, which is a nice little touch because it means you can pack it away at the end of a session and the rest of the bivvy doesn't get dirty. So just like with the Armo, take the ground sheet out. It's a heavy duty ground sheet. Throw it out. Make sure the label's at the front, the tracker label that's at the front, and you can then position it in the swim exactly where you want it so you know exactly what space the bivvy's going to take up. Now, what I do is I put in two, the first two pegs at the back then a couple of side ones, and then a couple of pegs at the front, just to hold it nice and flat. So if it's really windy, your ground sheet's not blowing away while you're getting the rest of the bivvy out. Then the bivvy itself comes out, and this is why it comes in a long, thin bag. It's three poles rather than five. So there's only two connections there to be done on each of those ribs, and, and then the bivvy is taking its shape. So it's a little bit quicker than the one and two man armos. What you then do is lift the ground sheet up, underneath it there'll be a little tiny silver hook, that gets hooked on either side, and that then gives it its tension, gives it its proper shape. I then pull the pegs out of the ground sheet, put them back in, in the little tiny eyelets that are at the bottom of the bivvy, do the back two first, then the side ones next to it, go on next and then you can walk round to the front, put the pegs inside the eyelets and literally just pull the bivvy over and up it goes. So once you've done that you can carry on doing the pegs at the front, there's a couple more on each side at the front and then you can put the tensioning bars on. And these bars keep it lovely and rigid because they've got a new design, one fits inside the other one so there's no movement left and right and it keeps that bivvy really solid. And that's one of the reasons I use this bivvy because sometimes I might be going for a few hours, sometimes I might be on a session like this and if the wind springs up and it even starts blowing in my face I know that this is going to stay put. So to talk you through some of the other features, it's got the peak exactly the same as the one man and two man armo but it's a more curved peak because there's less sections to it and that just matches the lovely curve of the bivvy so it looks more sleek as well and the nice thing about this one is you don't have to take the poles out of it when you're taking it down obviously that tensioning bar has to be taken out but the poles can stay in it so it's get, it goes together just that little bit quicker if you want to take the peak off on this one you can do so you can have it completely open at the front and the same goes for the infield panels now at the moment I'm using the mozzie panels you can see straight through these, absolutely perfect for keeping the mozzies out in the summertime, but you can still see the whole lake. Now you've got several options with this, you can zip that off completely and have it totally open and that gives you a lovely view of the lake, it's really wide, obviously much wider than the door, but you've still got pegging points down there to keep it nice and tight. Or you can have the mozzie panel on and the infill panel on. The whole thing is Aquatex, which is a breathable waterproof material, very very lightweight but very strong. So you can have this and the Aquatex panel at the front as well if you want to, which is obviously the same colour as the bivvy, or you can just have one of them. It's got a double zip there, so you can have two connected or just one. And one lovely little touch they've done on the Aquatex infill, to keep the, the door nice and high so you've got a good view of the lake, there's a little tiny press stud up here on it and it just holds it a little bit further up. This one doesn't need it because you can see there that door's wound up so nice and tight that it doesn't get in the way. Now, anything that fits an Armo One Man will fit this. So the tensioning strap, if you don't want to use the ground sheet, or the, the super wrap, which comes to there, or the super extended wrap, which has got another pole that comes out even further, and that brings it down even further out, so you've probably got another foot or so. And that will enable you to get a couple of bed chairs in there and pretty much turn it into a two-man bivvy. Now, you can't get these in two man and the reason for that is the poles will be so long because you've only got three poles it just wouldn't be stable enough it wouldn't work so this is only available in a one man but for someone like me it's absolutely perfect now one little touch if we can go around to the back of the bivvy one lovely little touch they've done now are these vents at the back they're zipped and velcroed so they always stay nice and tight when you've got them rolled down if I just roll that up like so and then you've just got a little bit of elastic and a little toggle there and what that does is it gives you a lovely smooth flow of air through the back of the bivvy so when it's red hot and you're absolutely boiling alive inside your bivvy that on a day like today when I've got the wind off my back is perfect it will let the wind keep going through there and that will keep the bivvy nice and cool 
and nicely aired. So that's a really nice feature to finish that off. A definite step forward from the ever popular one-man Armo. This is my bivvy for the next coming season.